In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build dynamic sidebars using the Cadence Pro theme. And if you don't have the pro version of the Cadence theme, that's okay. I'll show you how to set up sidebars, but there's so much more power when you use the dynamic sidebar feature found in Cadence Pro. So here's a blog post and you can see I already have the sidebar enabled. So let me go ahead and show you the two ways to enable sidebars on your website. The first way is to do it globally, and that's going to be found inside of the customizer. So you simply go to customizer, then click on blog post, then click on single post layout. And when you scroll down just a little bit where it says default post layout, you can choose one of these layouts. And these two here on the bottom are ones that will include the sidebar. And so you can see I have it right here where there's a right sidebar and that's what you see here. Now in the free version of the Cadence theme, you get to choose whether you want sidebar one or sidebar two. So you have these two sidebars so you can have different sidebars on different pieces of content manually. But I'm going to show you how to do this dynamically. But I wanted to show you first you need to enable sidebars. So this is how you do it globally. Let me get out of here and I'll show you how to enable sidebars on a post by post basis. I'll click on edit post and I'll go into an individual post. I'll click right here to show the options for this post. But what I'm trying to get to is the page settings right here. So you can see I also can choose a post layout just for this post. So by default, it's set to default. But if on this one, say I wanted a left sidebar, I can click right here and choose left sidebar. And I can also choose a different sidebar, whether it be sidebar bar one or sidebar two for this post. So that's how you can set sidebars globally as well as how you can individually control them on pages or posts. Now, let me show you how to add content to those sidebar locations, but we're not yet into the dynamic sidebars. This might just blow your mind. So if you go to appearance and then click on widgets, this is going to show you the sidebar. So here's sidebar one and here's sidebar two. I can expand it here. And if you want to build out the content, these are the pieces of content right here that you can just drag and drop and add to a various sidebar. And each of these might have some options. So there's some options here or some options here. And this is how you typically do sidebars. And this is how you could do it using the free version of the Cadence theme. Now, let me show you something much better. Now, now you see these sidebars, they're limited to these widgets. So this is a part of WordPress that is already extremely limited because you don't get to use the full power of the WordPress block builder here, nor if you're using a page building tool, you don't get to use the full power of that here. You're just limited to these options here. So with the Cadence theme, we recognized that. And instead of making it so that you can create additional sidebars, bar locations here and assign them to different pages or posts, we knew there was a better way. So we have integrated inside of the elements feature dynamic sidebars. Let me show you how that works. First, you'll need Cadence Pro. I'm going to click right here where it says Cadence. And when you scroll down, here are the pro add-ons that you can choose to enable or disable. You're going to need hooked elements enabled. Now let's click on elements. Now I've already created one right here and I'll show you that in a moment, but all you'll do is click on add new and then we get this option to choose the type of element we want to create. And for this, we're going to choose default element right here and then give it a title and then start building it either using your page builder tool or using the block builder. Then over here on the right, let me show you for placement options. Click right there and start typing in sidebar. And there's an option here that says replace sidebar. Then underneath it, we have display settings. And this is where you're going to choose dynamically where you would like this content to display. We have lots of different options here. So in the blog post scenario, I'm going to scroll down to here where it says single posts. 
but there's all sorts of different parts of your website where you may want to have a sidebar. I'm going to choose single posts and I can choose by all posts or I have options of having it be by a particular author or options of having it be only blog posts in a certain category or a certain tag. So we have all of these options and you can even choose individually. So we have these options right there. I'll just leave it to all, but you'll probably want to implement this on a, maybe creating a different sidebar for a particular category of content on your website. Next, we have the user settings right here. So this is interesting and opens up a lot of interesting options for you if you have a website where people log in. So you can have one sidebar when people log in and one sidebar when people are not logged in. For example, if someone's not logged in, that means you most likely don't have their user information. So what you can do is have an opt-in form when they're not logged in displayed. But if they're logged in, there's no sense in showing that opt-in form because you already have their information. That's when you might want to create a different sidebar that won't have that opt-in form because you don't need it. But you have options here of logged in, logged out, and also based on user role. So if you have a membership website where each member has a particular user role, well, you can have the lower members have an um, some form of a marketing or a banner offering them or suggesting for them to upgrade. You can easily do that here. So those are some ways that you can use these various settings. Lastly, we also have device settings. And what's also an interesting idea is using the expires setting. If you have a limited time promotion that you want to show on your website and have the sidebar expire. Now I've already gone ahead and created one of these dynamic sidebars. You can see it's right here. I'll click into it and I put an opt-in form in this headline that says subscribe to our newsletter and I also use the post grid block to show some recent posts. Now this is where the power of this feature is. You're not limited to widgets. You can basically build your sidebar using any WordPress block. And so if you have Cadence Blocks or Cadence Blocks Pro, it opens up a ton of opportunity. Or if you're using a page builder, you could build your sidebar out using your page builder. So let me go ahead and choose my placement settings. So remember, I have to type sidebar. I'll choose replace sidebar. And I've already set my display settings and my user settings. I'll go ahead and click on update. So now this is ready to go. So when I go back here to this posts, I can just back out of this and you can see it is, this is what it was showing. Now let me do a refresh and you're gonna see the sidebar completely changed. Now, I didn't really style this up. I would probably do some things a little differently, but I just wanted to show you in this video how easy it is to unlock the full power of the WordPress block builder into any area of your website, including your sidebar. This is how you can have as many different sidebars as you want and apply very powerful options and features so that you can execute on some advanced strategies that you want to bring to your website. So that's all that I have for you in this video. If you learned something new, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps get the word out on these videos. And if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Now, if you don't have the Cadence Pro theme, we'd love to have you as a customer. I have a link in the video description down below that will take you over to the website and you can see everything that Cadence Pro includes. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.